Okay, I'll make this as painless as possible. There's a lot of people on eBay that are selling devices for paranormal research called an EM pump, electromagnetic field pump. But what they're really selling is a magnet. That's a little rare earth magnet in a box. The magnet is glued to the bottom of this motor. This motor is just a small 3 volt motor out of an old DVD ROM drive. You can find them in DVD ROM drives, CD players, DVD players, Blu-ray players, VCRs, wherever. Here's 6 volts of battery power, our K2 meter, and this is my EM pump that I designed and built myself. Now people are saying that the EM pump that they build creates a strong electromagnetic field. Well that's wrong. Because a rare earth magnet, like this bad boy here, or any other magnet, does not create an EM field. Around this magnet is a magnetic field. It emits magnetic lines of force. Now, the K2 meter was specifically designed, same earth, rare earth magnet, there it is. I've just moulded the blue tack in a better shape. Now, the K2 meter was specifically designed to display magnetic fields, whether they're natural from a magnet or whether they're from an electromagnetic coil. So we'll turn the K2 on. There it is, it's lit up. Now it does react to the rare earth magnet because the rare earth magnet's magnetic lines of force are intersecting with the receiver coil inside the K2 meter. And therefore it lights up. And we've got the motor next to the K2 meter. I'll attach power to it. And you'll see that the motor will, will spin. And there it is, it's spinning. And I can sit it on top of the K2 meter and you'll see that the K2 meters lights are lit because there's a small electromagnetic field coming from the motor because of the coils on the spindle and the permanent magnets on the outside. This motor is driven by a principle called electromagnetic repulsion. So I'll unpower it and of course the K2 goes out. And what I'll do is I'll stick this rare earth magnet onto the motor and this is all that's inside those EM pump boxes that are being sold on eBay. And I'll power it up. And here you'll see that the magnet's spinning. and the K2 has peaked. The further away from the K2 meter you get, the lights go out. The closer you get to the K2 meter, the lights come on again. Depower it, and it goes out. And that little spike at the end there was the depowering of the motor. So I'll just shut the K2 off. Now what's happening here is the rare earth magnet is spinning around at such a great speed that it's causing the K2 to react so quickly that the red LED is lit all the time. It doesn't get the chance to drop back down and back up again. This is our, K is our uh, EM pump that I've designed and built myself. We'll turn that on. 
straight away. You can hear the EM pump working in the background. There's the blue LED that's on. And the closer we get, the more lights come on. This one is a variable pulse rate, so you can have it pulsing slowly. quicker and the closer you get the more reaction you get on the K2 meter this isn't a magnet in a box without turning the camera off I'll I'll remove the screws and you'll be able to see what's actually inside the box. Now the most expensive EM pump I've seen on eBay is around 60 bucks. If you pay $60 for a box with a $3 motor in it a $2.50 rare earth magnet, some batteries and a switch, then you are getting robbed. And it's as simple as that. And there you can see our EM pump. She uses the field coil two heavy duty Duracell batteries, a 9 volt battery and a pulsing circuit. And this emits quite a heavy, heavy duty electromagnetic field. So there are people out there who are on eBay especially eBay in America and they claim to be in paranormal groups which is fine they may be in paranormal groups but they see one video one guy on YouTube who shows you how to make an EM pump when all they're making is a rotating magnet in a box yep sure it affects the K2 meter it affects the K2 meter significantly but there's no way in hell you will get anything electromagnetic from that. There's no electromagnetic field. There's no electromagnetic lines of force coming from that magnet. It's a magnet, and that's it. If you're paying for one of them, one of them, some batteries, and a box, and a switch, which all amounts to about $9 worth of hardware, and you're paying 40 bucks, 50 bucks for this device, then you are getting ripped off plain and simple. Anyway, hope I've been of some help to some people. So, take it easy.